Hi guys, um, I just wanted to explain a little bit more about the project you're working on and um, talk about how you're going to be scored. So, uh, by the way, you'll find this document on um, both the OneNote and on um, the website. So, again, you're a politician, right? You're in office, you're, and I'm going to give you something that's happened in your district. Now, you're going to have to be a little bit, uh, a little bit creative. So, I might tell you, um, you know. What are you going to do about the factory that just got shut down in your town? Ready, go. And that's the question the reporter has just given you. So you're free to be creative back. Um, you don't have to be tied to any certain place or any certain, um, you know, type of economy. You can just be sort of creative. And again, as the person who's going first, you really get to set the tone for that. Um, and whoever responds to you will just, just have to respond to what you've said. So do keep in mind that, that the first person to go will uh, do the first and the third. So again, anything you say in this first part, it's as if it's law, right? They're not really going to be able to change that. So if you say that, you know, the unemployment rate in your city only went from 3% to 4%, if that's how you're going to frame your, your uh, argument, no problem. They have to work with what you've uh, laid out there, okay? Um, so likewise, if you're the challenger, make sure you pay a lot of attention to what they say there and stick to the, uh, the facts that they present, even though they're made up. Okay, next, um, I just want to go through real quickly what you're going to be scored on. So first of all, use of economic vocabulary. And in particular, I mean what we've covered, this, uh, covered in Unit 2 in Macroeconomics. So you can see the, uh, the progression through here. Essentially, I want you to use a wide variety of economic terms. And I want you to use them skillfully. If it seems forced, if you don't quite understand, if you uh, misuse a term to, to a certain extent, um, you're not going to be able to be all the way over here to excellent. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to need to explain economic theory, um, and again, relating to our study of macroeconomics. Um, so again, it needs to be clearly explained, and to get all the way to excellent, you use, need to use diagrams in such a way that it really adds to what you're saying. Finally, for evaluation, you need to talk about several likely effects, um, and really from both sides of the table. I mean, you need to be able to say, I'm going to do this, and it's going to have these good effects and these bad effects, but here's why the bad effects aren't as important. And that's what I mean by prioritizing the, uh, by prioritizing the arguments. So again, to get all the way over to excellent, to get highest marks here, um, that's what I need to see. All right, and uh, understanding that these are all four points over here and three and two and one, uh, to get a seven, you need to be excellent in at least two things and uh, good in another. So 11 to 12 is a seven and on down. All right, good luck with this. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email or something like that, and I'll try to clear things up for you.